Now I'm going to show you how you can move any of the photos within your catalog to another destination on your computer. First of all, we're going to start by selecting a couple of photos. I'm going to click on this one here. I'm going to hold down control and click on this one as well. Now they're selected. I'm going to come up to the file menu. I'm going to come down to move. And this is going to bring up the move selected items dialog that allows me to move these files. You can see here, if I scroll down, I'm getting a preview of all the images that I'm actually moving. If at this stage I decided that I want to add another photo, I can just click on this little add button here. Doing that will bring up another dialog that gives you a lot of options as to what photos you want to move. But I'm going to come across to the ones that are already within my catalog and I'm going to say I want this one as well. Just by ticking that there or clicking in the little box, that's now active. And all I need to do now is add that selected photo by clicking that button there. Once that's done, I just need to press done to get out of the dialog. And now if I scroll back down, you can see I've added that new image as well. Next, we have to select a location. You can see at the moment it's actually saving to my desktop, which is correct. However, if I wanted to save that to another location, all I need to do is click on this browse button and that'll ask me where I'm wanting to place these files. So I'm going to choose cancel there because I'm going to the desktop and that's fine. That's where I want to save them. And now all I need to do is press OK. You'll notice that nothing has changed within my catalog. What has happened though, in the background, Photoshop Elements has actually relinked the images from the catalog to the photos on the desktop, which we just moved. If I minimize Photoshop Elements, we can see on the desktop, there are the three images that I just moved. 